ES. And My Rehab Academy is a platform where we connect the best of instructors in the field of physiotherapy across the globe to the students practicing phys uh, physical therapist and aspiring physios. Today's, today's event is about aquatic therapy. And uh, as you know, aquatic therapy is one of the less practiced field in the country. It's still only I, in, as per I have traveled the country, I have seen only the mega cities as well as the tier two cities practicing aqua therapy. I haven't seen it has penetrated into the small towns and cities of the country. I hope today's conference will bring much more awareness and uh, our, uh, what we say, the best top instructor, Dr. Prachi and uh, Dr. Gianni. Gianni, sorry, sir, I could not pronounce your name. Uh, sorry. Both will be enlightening you through the positivity as well as the knowledge part of aquatic therapy. So I hope this one hour will change your perception about aquatic therapy. Aquatic therapy is not just what we think is a simple hydrotherapy. Of course, we use the, of course, we use the principles of physics. We use the principles of biomechanics. We use the principles of human physiology. But the most important is that we use what we say the biophysical principles, the such biophysical principles we are using for the therapeutic purpose. So the clinical application is something what is going to be highlighted to you today. My Rehab Academy is a platform which is run by few of our core members. I am one of that. My CEO, Dr. Sumanji Sarma, I think he is getting connected. Yes, you can. You can't find him with the name. It's a My Rehab Academy uh, logo. You can see, and uh, just now has joined Dr. Divakar. He is our chief finance officer. Yeah, yes, he's waving hand. Yes, sir has also come online. And uh, Kalimullah, sir, he's the operation head and advisor head. So <clears throat> we four are the core members here. We'll be connected throughout your conference to support you. And I would like to inform every participant, since you are at the convenience of the home, and uh, it is the e-conference where you have Either you are connected through mobile or you are connected through your tab or maybe through the laptop. Whichever the gadgets you have been connected, there is a reaction button. You can either give clap or you can thumbs up whenever you like anything. You, can, you have option of raising hand too, but I don't prefer in my uh, process. Reason behind, once you raise your hand, uh, somebody has uh, sent me a message that can't reach my voice. Kindly increase the voice of your uh, digital uh, access, means gadgets that will be available. I think most of them are listening my voice clearly now. Uh, what I was saying that waving hand is something I don't like. Reason behind that, whatever you want to ask, it may not be possible that verbally you are able to, same thing you are able to, uh, same thing you are able to uh, communicate with your instructor. So you will be given the opportunity to give only the symbolic part, like as I told you, clap or maybe the hands up and type your uh, doubts and queries only in the chat box rather than preferring the verbal thing. <clears throat> what happened when you type in the chat box, we'll be able to see that very clearly. We'll be framing the question. Many a times the questions are repeated and many a times people are not asking questions. Their questions are answered without before they type it or before they ask. So it's always good that you start typing your questions in the chat box. It won't disturb our instructor. It will uh, you know, create that uh, the proper rhythm whenever they are talking. And we'll be selecting those questions and you'll be given at last for about 10 minutes to ask five or 10 minutes max. So uh, frame your questions properly. I expect you not to ask more of the biophysical principles because as a physio, you are supposed to know every those principles. What you are supposed to ask about the clinical application, whatever Prachi ma'am will be telling. Today's our instructor, Dr. Prachi sir, is a well-known name in India and she, she actually needs no introduction. When it is aqua therapy, I find only one name, that is Dr. Prachi sir, Aroda. Welcome you ma'am on board. And uh, I could see 
uh, Jayani sir, he is 30 plus year experience person in aquatherapy. The very famous called Watsu, Water Watsu and Voga. What we say the water yoga. Basically, it was a new term for me too. Since uh, I have been doing yoga for about 15 plus years. Of course, not regularly, irregularly, irregularly regular. But uh, water yoga was something very uh, new and very unique. And personally, I liked very well. Sir is expert upon that. Welcome you, sir, on board. And uh, whatever I say about you, it is uh, maybe the whole conference hour will be less to detail about both of you because you are so enlightened that one hour will be too less to detail about. So it's a minor introduction. My Rehab Academy, on behalf of My Rehab Academy and our participants, I welcome you on the board, both of you. Uh, now it's up to you, like whenever you want to start, you want to uh, break off two minutes or you want <coughs> everybody to join. I think about uh, 218 have joined and uh, it's still two minutes to three o'clock. So and we are live. We are live on uh, YouTube also. Please, please inform. Which one? We are live on YouTube. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And recently we are now live on the YouTube too. And I could see many non-faces. Uh, hi, Petrina. I know you. You have been uh, joining us with a lot of uh, conferences. And many more many more faces I know. Thank you so much of uh, the trust you have shown to us for every conferences. And most of that, you guys are joining. Many of them have joined from other countries also. I wish best of luck to everyone. And please type your doubts in the chat box so that we can see that. And... YouTube has been live, so whoever wants to see on the YouTube also can see. Please increase your uh, uh, switch of the voice for your gadget so that you can you can actually uh, listen properly and preferably use the uh, ear set, I mean the earphone, that will be even better because at home convenience we know sometimes kids, sometimes our family issues. So that's okay. It's good that we have connected. Yeah, over, to, yeah, to, over to conference. Over to you, ma'am, Dr. Prachi Sanaroda. Welcome everybody giving the clap symbolic clap <laughs> no uh, thank you for uh, welcoming me and i am glad that my rehab academy has invited me to speak on the aquatic therapy over here this introduction to an aquatic therapy is for everyone this particular webinar is open for doctors for physiotherapists for occupational therapists for so it is open for paramedicals as well as it is open for athletes patients as well so uh, everyone can be aware about aquatic therapy. And since I see it is three, I wouldn't waste each, any minute of your time and I'll start the presentation. And stay connected because I will be definitely um, concluding by water shiatsu and we have uh, Sir Gianni De Stefani over here. And as a uh, Dr. Sarva already mentioned that uh, he is very well known and he has 30 plus years of experience. I would say that what a shiatsu, the watsu technique had brought a huge difference in my aquatic therapy skills. So we'll be concluding by what a shiatsu and when are the upcoming courses of what a shiatsu, which are going to happen in the year 2000, 2020, as well as in 2021, we have the schedule with us. Okay, so I'll start with the presentation. Uh, Ma'am, if you whenever you want to uh, poll things, uh, just let me know. Poll part. Okay. So uh, I would like to understand. Yeah, let's have the first poll. I would like to understand uh, how many physiotherapists are over here. How many patients are attending this? How many doctors are attending this? So we'll come to know in which direction because there are even twelve years uh, swimmers also who are attending this particular webinar to understand how aquatic therapy can be even beneficial to them. So this is the poll. Mm -hmm. You can see everyone. Yeah, the poll has come. Kindly, uh, kindly put your input. Yes. Poll is going on. Yeah.
218 we got 219 out of 261 yes 220 okay so i see here okay shall i end the poll y yes please okay yes i think it's almost done 95 percent have voted yes so i so can i share share the result yes please, please. yes definitely yeah, so this is the result, you can see. 96% mm. uh, has voted. Physiotherapist only, they are all physiotherapist. One, and even occupational therapist has... 1% uh, occupational therapist. therapist. Two people. Okay. Two Physical people, trainer. yes. Today, doctor also is there with us, three doctors. Three, three even doctors. the patients are there. Two patients, yeah. And uh, other categories, professionals also seem to be interested four, in this. Four, four people, yeah. And second and is, please, second. Uh, how about this equity therapy in muscular skeleton and sport, uh, sports has got the maximum vote of 57%. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then sport injuries also, Suman sir had kept, I mean, differently. So I have to find out about this uh, a clinical part. I think that is also has got about 25%. So combined, if you do that, that goes about more than uh, more than 75 percent almost uh, more than 80 percent sorry and of course aquatic management i'm sure some of the professionals are liking that too Amazing. and of course telehealth that is the most important in corona pandemic significance and of course aquatic fitness okay so yeah, i'm glad that uh, participants has done it thank you yes so I, i'll do my best to guide you across with an introduction to an aquatic therapy i shall share the screen now huh? Uh, you can uh, stop the polling so it can go off. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's stopped already, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And share the screen. Okay. Yes, we can see that. Uh, can this be go on off? Uh, make it. Uh, that's still the poll. Okay. Make it full screen now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, perfect. And, yeah. Thank you. So as everyone knows that aquatic therapy can be done outside in an outdoor pool as well as it can be done. Uh, okay. I guess there's And as well as it can be done inside in the indoor pool. And a therapist can do one-to-one -one interaction with a patient and as well as with a client inside in the pool when a therapy is to be given. And it can be also be done in a group sessions outside. Either it can be a temperature control pool or it cannot be a temperature control pool, depending on what particular technique are we going to do. So, I am practicing water shiatsu. I'm a menu therapist, aquatic therapist, as well as a sports physio for an Indian swimming team. When I go further, do we think that aquatic therapy can be done outside in the seawater? Yes, but it has a different benefits of it and it has a different property that helps, but this is something not an aquatic therapy. And there were questions, are we going to do practical over here? No, it's just an introduction to an aquatic therapy. But even your patients ask you that, will we be submerged inside in the water while doing an aquatic therapy? And if we are going to be inside in the water, will we drown inside? The answer is no. And you're not gonna drown. Therapist is definitely going to take care. And aquatic therapy is done with the water level till the chest level, ideally, so that your patient is comfortable and the comfort zone has been achieved when an aquatic therapy is done. When we proceed towards the history, so aquatic therapy, as Dr. Saurav mentioned that it is uh, new and people are now getting aware about it. But when we see the in history, it's quite ancient. And when I say ancient, Roman culture had it, Roman empires, Egyptian culture had it. Even 
during the year in 2400 BC, it had was been going across till the 18th century. And aquatic therapy was not as discovered as an aquatic therapy at that particular time. But people were practicing that it. There were hot water springs as well. There were tanks, the small tubs were made. And these tubs came into an origin in the year 1911 when they started telling them as a Hubbard tank. We'll see the picture of a Hubbard tank. Throughout the 1930s, then they started putting, jotting it down, literature started coming, evidences, they started collecting the documentation and practicing. Specifically, it started with the neurological disorders, with spasticity, with cerebral palsy. Then the techniques and the methods started discovering into it. In the year 1937 till 1950s, there were three techniques which had came into. Since I saw in the poll, poll there were more of a physiotherapist, like how in mobilizations, we have different techniques. We have McKenzie, we have Maitlands, we have Mulligans, we have Carlton Bond, we have Syriacs. Likewise, in aquatic therapy, there are very good three major techniques, which are known as Badragas ring method, burden co method, helvic therapy. And these techniques are used for treating musculoskeletal, neurological conditions, as well as sports injuries. Lately, in 1980s and 1990s, what is Shiatsu, which is known as Vatsu. And now people are really looking for doing Vatsu. And so that came laid back in 1980s. If we see today, it's like 2020, and half of them don't know what Vatsu is. Then the um, APTA, the American Physical Therapy Association, started as a recognizing the aquatic therapy sessions. And even in a physical therapy, we have these topics to do, to understand hydrotherapy, to understand aquatic therapy. It started in the year 1992. And lastly, the in 1993, IG was been discovered, which is again to do for your core balance. I am going to show you some images as well as the videos, which will help you guide, as well as some props with me. So which will guide you across how this therapy and techniques go. Still, there are researches and evidences which are going on and people are coming up with new approaches. This is a Habat tank, which was constructed and made out of a mosaic tiles. And the patient was been suspended on this and was taken inside in it. And the therapy was conducted over here. Then the evaluation started and with the evolution across, there were different forms since mosaic tiles and the small, small tiling was into a costlier part as well as difficult to maintain. There were steel tanks which came into an account and in steel tanks, um, there were inotophorosis which was happening, which is to maintain the chemical balance as well as an electrolyte balance inside in your body. Now we see in some of the clinics, there are small hydrotherapy tanks, but now even clinics have started putting up a hydrotherapy tanks, which are made of steel. One of it I have in my clinic. I have a stainless steel made hydrotherapy tank in my clinic. And so this small tanks were used for distal joints, like for wrist, for elbow, or for ankle. And they were also temperature controlled along with the jet flow to use assistance as well as resistance while doing a hydrotherapy. We have even fancy bathtubs. And in this fancy bathtubs, the jets are everywhere to give you completely a luxury feeling as well as to do a water massages. So this is how there are evolution happening. Now, this is an image which is describing I was practicing a Batragas rig method. And with the consent, I have taken consent of each and every patient. So uh, some of the images will be hiding across. Now, when I see over here, Badragas ring method, it is going with the ring, but the ring, you can either, there are different rings which are available in an aquatic stores or market outside, or you can make one with a flexible noodle. So if you can see, I am holding a noodle. It is straight, long. It can be bent across completely, folded across. And this is the one which is there as a yellow. This is known as a connector. So this connector, you can connect the noodle inside and make a circle in this particular way. Even some exercises can be done only with a noodle or with a noodle and connector, 
going in a different horizon and then doing the exercises with it. So this is one of the technique which is used for uh, doing neuro rehabilitation as well as musculoskeletal. It uses more of a PNF techniques. That's what is shiatsu and watsu. One image of it, there are many different moves in it. Now watsu have a specialized floats. So the floats which you can see in my hand, they are of different sizes. Now this is um, medium size. Uh, so it is the second number, there are four sizes in it. And this can help in sustaining the person with the help of a buoyancy to help floating so that the leg doesn't go and immerse inside. Noodles can also take your pressure when you have to sit over a noodle and do the exercises. They look quite lightweighted, they are quite lightweighted, but with the help of a buoyancy as a property of the water, we understand, and you can do various other exercises with it. They are doing Aichi over here. Now, when an Aichi is done, the Aichi says that you need to focus with your eyes closed and focus on more of your breathing pattern, as well as there are soft circular rolling movements which go with the hand. And there is a different music again played for it. There are researches which are done for understanding geriatric population, 60 plus, 60 years plus age group population is known as a geriatric population. Now in this particular population, the balance comes as an issue or uh, like when they age more or in Parkinson's also we have seen this. So with the help of IG, there are different, different mudras in IG which are to be practiced and it strengthens your core muscles really well as well as your shoulder muscles. So if I, let's say, if I ask you to stand and squat and sustain a half squat position, for let's say 10 minutes. Will you be able to, can you think like three minutes? Yes, you can. Squats, repetitions and sets, you can, but sustain the position for 10 minutes, which looks like difficult. So every age group, not only the youngsters, even the geriatric population can do it with the help of a water properties. This is one of a technique, a helluvic therapy, which is which was done by me and it was support. There are different uh, rules into helvic therapy, which have the 10 norms. And with the help of those 10 norms, you can help a person to disengage from yourself so that a person is independent and required goals can be achieved. Now, this is a stretching, which, so this is an adductor stretching, which is he is doing over here with the help of a noodle. Now this noodle, because of the buoyancy, is going to help sustaining his leg up. And with the assistance and with the coolant, the water effect, and there are different, different properties which play on our physiological effects as well as the metabolism, which helps in attaining more range. So now when this more range is achieved, the stretch is really very well achieved. So the flexibility is increased. Now here they are doing an aquatic dumbbell workout. Aqua dumbbell workouts come in different sizes. As you see over here, there is a yellow size, which is a small size, orange, which is a medium, red is heavy. But when I hold this dumbbell in my hand, uh, yeah, these are my patents since you see the name over here. These are my patent and I have made them. Uh, I have done a research onto them for two years and uh, I have all my evidences with me. This was done to understand how different dumbbells are actually were soaking uh, water. But these dumbbells, they don't soak water and they dry easily and they can be used in any of the pool, whether it's an indoor or an outdoor pool or whether it's exposed to even sunlight and different chlorines also. So I was doing my research study and I was found, like I found that the dumbbells were soaking water and it was getting error to my study. So I thought to prepare a dumbbell on my own and do the study so I don't get an error. So this dumbbell, when I'm holding, it's really light outside. But when I submerge it inside in the water, it's going to be really difficult for me to push it. 
like currently a pair of this dumbbell is 400 grams outside but when i take them inside in the water it, depending on the depth and depending whether i'm holding it at the surface of the water or i'm pushing it inside its weight changes from 4 kg to 8 kg now this is what i am practicing as well it's we have heard that cupping therapy happens outdoor but have hardly seen the cupping therapy happening inside so here i'm holding one of a cup uh, lucky enough before the lockdown i had the stools with me over here at my home so i can use and show it to them Let's show it to you guys so this cup over here is a silicon rubber cup now when i put a cross on my hand and i press it the vacuum is created and the cup can be sustained and the cup is holded up this there are different sizes in this cups as well and it benefits when it is inside in the water we are not able to move this cup inside in the water very little range can be moved across but not to a larger extent but this cup along with the water property which is a hydrostatic pressure it helps in enhancing circulation because when i put this cup and i suck it i mean i press it it is sucking and pulling my skin as well as my fascia it has been uplifted and the tissues which are getting pressed inside are not going to be pressed more likewise i don't have an image to show you over here but i have a resistance loop over here to show it to you now this resistance loop is an aquatic resistance loop and this thera band it's i mean we tell is a thera band because thera is a company but this is a resistance loop i would say and it's an aquatic resistance loop with a different material so inside in the water when i have to pull it i don't get any strain and it can pull to a larger extent again we all know when we do a high plank to sustain it's really difficult if we just suddenly do it and if we are exercising regularly it's quite easy so in a high plank position done on the land is different but when you do inside in the water so i was doing a high plank position inside in the water with an aqua mat aqua mat this is an again an indian aqua mat it's been designed by me we have different aqua mats known as boga mats which are available outdoors and but this wasn't suspended to anything and to balance on something really unstable is challenging for your core muscles so why wouldn't a person choose an aqua workout i would rather say and it's we know it's been practicing since ages but people are hardly aware about it when it cannot cause any stress on your joints which are weight bearing especially if i have to like i'm like sustaining this position on the land will be like hardly for a fraction of seconds but again inside in the water will my heel lifted off and i can sustain it for longer without getting any form of an injury or having a fear that i might lose my balance and twist my ankle so the exercises which are sometimes difficult to do it on the land are very well easy inside in the water and this is only because of the water properties as well as we get a good resistance inside in the water because when we are walking inside in the water we are actually moving slow comparable to the walk that we do it on the land i'm sure everyone have definitely done a brisk walk and try doing a walk inside in the water in the pool or at the sea or at the ocean around and when you actually go and walk inside it restricts you because of the pressure of the water that is known as the hydrostatic pressure so i go with my next slide as well as a viscosity now hydrostatic pressure is a pressure which is on your entire body equally distributed so if on land if i don't have that hydrostatic pressure the word itself defines hydro water static the same pressure emitted by the water on a subject which is immersed inside in the water and viscosity as a property offers the resistance because its density is different now over here density will be changing depending on the temperature not going to go in the deep because we have all different population over here 
So just the superficial, there are many other properties of the water, but some specificity, I wanted to introduce it to you. And if I want to swipe my hand this way, so, so to swipe a hand, it's really easy on the air, but if I have to swipe my hand inside in the water, it's going to offer me a resistance. Now, inside in the water, in all different axes and planes, it's very much easy to get a resistance. But outside on the land, there are different characteristics. Like we have our MMT grading, manual muscle testing grading, which says anti-gravity, which says against the, I mean, in the parallel to the gravity, gravitational force has been emitted. So likewise, in the water, we have resistance inside in the water equally distributed. Now, the resistance for an object inside in the water depends on the depth as well. Reduced risk of injury, a cushioning effect. We'll see with an image how useful um, it is and how beautiful it is when we see pregnant women doing the exercises inside in the water without having any fear. So the property what I'm trying to explain you over here is if I even plan to fall inside in the water, the water is going to cushion me back. So the property of buoyancy is again over here. Freedom of movement, I explained to you in all the directions we can do in all axes and planes. Slow motion movements, a good muscle control has been achieved. So as I give you an example of walking inside in the water, how resistance I also you're getting, you try running harder inside in the water, but it is going to make you slow. So a good muscle control can be achieved. When a good muscle control is achieved, targeted muscles strengthen very well. And aquatic therapy is something which can be used for all age group, right from the pediatrics, right from the bachu till the geriatrics, till 60 years plus age group. Unloading of the joints. Yes, definitely it helps in unloading of the weight-bearing joints with the different forces which are going into a negligible. We'll see that image as well of the shear stress. So I have mentioned over here the compressive distraction and torsion forces are very much neglected, like negligible over there inside. So here being physiotherapist, which I saw more in the fall, so I would rather say over here, joint reaction force is definitely there inside in the water but comparable to land is very much less inside in the water. And with the help of buoyancy, we feel lighter. You'll see with my video, how easy it was for me to manage a really heavy patient in my hand because the body was feeling lighter and I was using buoyancy as a property to do the therapy. When, so with the pressure, improved vascular returns, what does this mean? Um, patients who are having varicose veins, it's really good for them as well because your vascular return to the body is going to be much more faster as well as much more efficiently. And this is going to happen because of the physiological effects that takes place on our body when we are submerged inside in the water with different depths. We'll see that image. The last one, I know you are all waiting for an image. The last one, temperature, cooler and warmer. Now, how is this useful? Um, when there are winters outside or when there is a snowfall outside or where there is a rain outside, uh, you love to have a good warm shower. And when it's really hot outside, you definitely want to have a cold water shower. So when I say temperature, water, we can maintain a temperature regulation system in that. There are heated pools as well as there are cold pools available. Now, this temperature regulation, how is it going to help us? Warmer the pool it's going to be, it's going to help us in developing a good flexibility to the joints. Muscles are going to be stretched really well. Some of the techniques like Aichi, like water shiatsu is done in a warm pool. Unless and until if I want to have a different benefit, aqua aerobics and aquatic fitness, it can be done in a cold pool as well as in a warm pool. Cold pool has a much more better benefit over here because I don't have to think across more for my heat stress or heat exhaustion or heat stroke, which we see outside when a person is doing the activity outdoors. So yes, water has its own benefit and there are many other properties apart from this. 
Yep. So there's no forces of the bone over here. I was trying to explain. Compression forces are there. There are distraction forces and the torsion forces. So when a good amount of a compression force, like let's say, uh, when you are actually uh, stepping or uh, putting your feet on the land quite fast, rapidly you are doing it. There are a lot of compression forces that are happening in your body. There are some activities, there are some dance, there are some movements, some form of an exercises. They are actually going to cause a lot of shear force, a lot of compression force on and a lot of twisting torsional forces. If I have to do a hip hop or a big boying or let's say aggressive Zumba, it's going to have a lot more of strain on my knee. But if that is done, people have taken even Zumba inside in the water. So if a Zumba is done example inside in the water, those forces are going to be there, like I said, in the joint reaction forces, but it's going to be a little less. So it's just one example. I'm not saying that, okay, you can do the different things with the Zumba and all, but this is something which you can relate with your patient. Now, when you're relating with your patient, if a patient is having an ankle injury or if getting a rehab with his knee or with, whether it is an AVN of the hip, so when the forces outside on the land are really going to be hard enough and person is just gaining weight uh, because he can't go for a walk, it's very good to take a person inside in the water and do her rehabilitation so that these forces are quite negligible. Over here, I'm giving as an example of a buoyancy. Now in the buoyancy, a person is having example as a 200 pound. He's weighing 200 pound. But when the water level is still the hip level, till your pelvis level, it is going to be 50% only the weight that he is going to feel on his knees or ankle or the weight bearing joints over said the pelvis. Now, when a person, same person enters into more depth till let's say a ziffy sternum or till the chest level, it is going to be 30%. So a person is going to feel only 60 pounds weight. But when a person is going till the neck level immersion, Till the neck level immersion, the gravitational forces are going down and the buoyancy is going to act more, which is going to have only 10% of the body weight and we see only 20 pounds. So when, a, when doctors also prescribe that partial weight wearing exercises to be started and non-weight wearing exercises or a full weight wearing exercises, depending, even you can choose your aquatic therapy program. We see it's very easy to do the stretching inside in the water and to attain a good range. But with the good range, even you can maintain this position as well. It's not going to cause that much stress on your body. Likewise, we see over here, they are on their tiptoes and they are pregnant, but they are not having any fear that they might fall or injure a baby because of the cushioning effect again over here. This is uh, they are doing IG and in IG one leg is raised up the image which I showed previously and it's very easy to maintain the position for a long so balance coordination stretching flexibility everything can improve with it so I would rather say in the benefits on land your joint may be too stiff and painful to move but with the water and its different properties it's really easy to move inside and to reduce the stiffness, make your joints more flexible. There are different properties of water, but four major things that we found only in water and not on land differently is the buoyancy. Till now I have talked about buoyancy. So buoyancy is definitely which we found inside in the water. Hydrostatic pressure, mentioned to you about it. Resistance, which we get inside in the water in all the direction. Temperature. So benefits are multiple and why not a person choose it? Now, when we tell about or speak about core muscles, so everyone says that core are a body pillar and you need to strengthen them. If you strengthen your core muscles really very well, you are not going to have any injuries or you are not going to strain your shoulder or your elbow or your ankle, your core has to be strong. Earlier core was been mentioned as only four group of muscles, abdominals, back, 
glutes muscle pelvic floor also included as well as your diaphragm but when the researches and studies across are done to maintain a pelvis in the stable position where your core muscles are acting it doesn't only count only at the abdominals or at the back muscles or the glutes it also includes your hip joint muscles which are two joint muscles it also includes the higher up, upper back as well as the mid back muscles so core is not only to strengthen your abdominals or back but also to be focused on the muscles entire to your torso as well as your hip joint and we know that there are no risk of injury it's very good to relieve pain in osteoarthritis inflammation to attain the range very easily without having any stress or shearing forces on the joints and when a person enters inside in the water to do the exercises he can do more exercises and without having any pain so he also he or she feels to do more which can help in increasing the lean body mass the muscle mass as well as the bone density and inside have you ever tried getting inside in the water and trying to balance yourself inside the moment you enter inside in the water your core muscles are activated and in a less time when you can get entire benefit and conditioning of your body why wouldn't you try because it doesn't require any specific swimming skills if a person says i'm a non swimmer and uh, i don't know whether uh i can go for an aquatic therapy or not trust your aquatic therapist they will make sure that they will attend those ranges and make you comfortable by teaching you the different techniques and no specific swimming skills are required for it hence exercising in water i would say is always fun for me and to see the other exercise and we see the faces of uh, individual over here they are really happy to do the exercises inside in the water because it is not making them too tired they are taking precautions very well as well as therapist is also helping them to stretch to maximal therapist is also there are babies also which we take inside in the water for a rehab and to make sure they are able to attain their daily activities very well so these are some images even we can do the rehab inside with an aquatic treadmill which is i'll describe it a little in the slides so yes after an injury or surgery sensitivity increases pain pain a person feels well doing because there are a lot of healing processes going inside there is an inflammation going inside at the part the tissue was been damaged and to bear a weight is really difficult but water supports every of this thing hence to take a patient inside to improve its mobility strength and function during the healing process is very good and they don't have to do a bed rest so you can ask you can discuss with your doctors uh, a therapist can always check so aquatic therapist also can always check with a physiotherapist or in physiotherapist and aquatic therapist both can also check with the orthopedic surgeons as well or with the neurosurgeons and understand a person's uh terminologies and contraindications and indications and take a patient inside to do the rehab is knowing swimming required really no and we see their faces they are really enjoying doing the aqua aquatic fitness i was doing with them in india dance is everywhere in all different forms across and there are bhangra there are there are dandiya there are garba everyone wants to dance but when you have knee joint when you have heel pain when you have calcaneal spur when you have an a vascular necrosis when there is a low back pain and you really don't want that much amount of a pressure on your joints what can you do at that particular time so they are doing even an aquatic dance they are inside in the water and they are happy that they are not having any pain or not having any stress on their joints while doing it so while concluding the benefits of an aquatic therapy i would say it is helping in toning your blood vessels functioning all body metabolism and all organs are going to its different physiological effect which is ultimately helping the body to achieve an as we say throwing off the metabolites and waste materials out of your body so that body can function well enhances everything and strengthens everything but the good thing is it happens at one go at one time in less amount of time so there are multiple benefits in an aquatic therapy 
And since we see multiple benefits in an aquatic therapy, all different fields can use it up. There are neurological fields, psychological fields, health and fitness, women's health, geriatrics, we can use in all different possibilities and all different variable conditions with it. Question is, can I do an aquatic therapy? After understanding the benefits, vast majority of people can definitely do, but certain medical conditions are contraindicated and certain medical conditions are as well as uh, you have to take precautions. They are not absolutely contraindicated, relatively contraindicated. And treatment, rehabilitation for your neuromusculoskeletal, different conditions, pre-surgery, pre post-surgery. So post-surgery, when I say over here, even with a surgical tape, which is waterproof, surgeons do permit that, yes, you can carry out the aquatic therapy with them and they are not uh, wasting their time or their day by getting the progression well. So the prognosis is really faster, quicker and better. As well as in the cancer rehabilitation, maintaining obesity, diabetes, thyroid, to maintain the hormonal levels, it does help. And there are researches which are also going, which are done as well as going on for this. some of the contraindications and precautions that a person needs to understand. It's not like you have learned a particular technique or you know a particular technique or you have been educated about a particular technique. Can this be done? Make sure a team rehabilitation is done. Ask a physician what are the problems. Understand a patient's problem. Go and check with a radiologist. Convey the message or ask their orthopedic or neurosurgeons or their coaches or trainers and a holistic approach can be done and we can understand whether they are really contraindicated or they can go further. I had done my research paper and uh, in the year 2013-14, Indian Swimming Team and Swimming Federation of India was really helpful to me to do this study on the swimmers. They have a swimmer shoulder condition and Dr. Shamil Kole, uh, sir, he, he was my guide and he explained me throughout the process as well. And my paper presentation, I can just connect you to the link. So this is a paper presentation which was done and which explains that yes, uh, the by doing the aquatic therapy, it was really helpful to understand the Bach's grade and the steady scoring system was also done. I have an entire article which you can see on a human journal. So this is another image of seeing how the core strengthening can happen. It's, we can do the exercises by keeping the foot on the floor. Even we can suspend ourselves off the floor um, to make you understand whether how easy it is if you try to balance with the parallel bars and try to lift yourself up and maintain this 1990 position. It will be difficult initially, but when you try to do it inside in the water with the help of noodles or with the help of a dumbbell, aquatic, it is very much. And you can see some convolutions happening over here. So that's how the muscle is as well as working. Now these are aqua fans which I'm using. So if you see in my hand, this is an aqua fan and it comes in a pair. So the concave is there as well as a convex side is there. Now this concave is going to have a lot of tension when I have to push or give me a lot of resistance comparable to the convex. How I can give you this as an example? Uh, likewise, uh, let's take a shark fish, okay? Or any, any fish that in that, that sense. Convex body helps in cutting the water currents easily and likely the concave. And if I give you as an example of concave, in swimmers, uh, when they have to do, we all know that butterfly stroke is really hard. So when a butterfly stroke is done, the body is making a concave and the surface tension is going to increase with it. And that's why the resistance is also going to increase. And that's the reason why butterfly stroke in the swimmers is tough comparable to it. So this concave convex devices will add me an additional resistance. 
let me make you understand that any of the aquatic equipments are going to add on the resistance and also going to help assisting the movements which you want to do. Likewise, I wanted to suspend myself and do the contraction as well as do the muscle strengthening over here. So this particular exercise, suspending, I can never imagine myself going on one hand and both the feet off the floor. Okay, one feet off the floor, we all do in the side plank position, but both the feet off the floor and having a good contractions is really difficult on land. So there are different approaches in aquatic therapy and we have various different approaches in aquatic therapy. There are aquatic fitness, yoga, water relaxation, massages, aquatic treadmill, and more and more uh, researches are happening and more and more approaches are coming across. Like we now see there is a water cupping also, which is there, which can be done. There are aqua swimming, uh, spinning as well as an aquatic trampoline. We'll see an image of it. Yep, there it is. Aqua trampoline is, uh, you are definitely jumping inside in the water and it is going to give you very light resistance because and the buoyancy is going to help you across. Here, you don't have a fear of straining yourself, but there are different aquatic fitness programs also which are happening with the pole and a boxing kit across. So you can strengthen the muscles as well as you can hang on to the pole and do the various workout. We see an aquatic treadmill. Um, so you can definitely do your walking, running inside in the water, but if you want, a really good speed to do it across. And you don't have a swimming pool. There are the aquatic small tanks, treadmill tanks, which are been made and you can do it likewise. In India, uh, this is my clinic's image. In India, we had, this, uh, I mean, did a first aquatic underwater treadmill. Uh, generally, there are the treadmill which have uh, water can be drained and the motor is outside but this was a first Indian underwater treadmill which was made in India and we had tried as an example in our clinic and it is working very well. So yes, in India also we have a small tanks and Aqua Gym is the one who is selling them across for an underwater treadmill. How do I, I mean, we saw all the benefits, we saw some properties as well. How do we take our aquatic assessment and I take my, everyone has a different assessment and a consent form for it. I take my aquatic assessment depending on what particular result I want or what is a person coming to you for what goals he wants to achieve. Let's say it's a sports person. So I have a different aquatic assessment form for a sports. If it's a fitness, aquatic fitness assessment form is different. If it is musculoskeletal, aquatic musculoskeletal form will be different. Or let's say neurology, it will be different accordingly how we have in our physiotherapy a different assessment forms and the way we take our assessment differently, like ways even in equitics we have. But to focus on the individual muscles and conditioning, muscle strength as well as their endurance is important. Now, when I say muscle endurance, so let me give as an example over here. If I have to lift a 15 kilo box, let's say 10 times, or 100 times. That is going to detect my muscle endurance. But if I'm lifting a 50 kilo box or a 100 kilo box, one only for one to check how much is my strength, that is my muscle strength. So muscle strength to train, muscle endurance to train, and to even condition your vitals is really important because you are working on a human body and an entire body conditioning and strengthening has to be done because there are various zones. So like, I don't believe in holding a plank for a certain or seconds or minutes because you are not going to be static for anyone. Are you like, I'm not going to be a dining table for anyone. My core muscles require to be challenged in all different position and excess because I am going to do my work in my daily life or in my professional life in dynamic movements. And hence, my core muscles require to be engaged and challenged in multiple planes and axes. But we should not forget that we are uh, not an amphibians, like we are not an amphibians. So we need to do our transition 
and progression with even land therapy. We don't only have to be only doing aquatic therapy, aquatic therapy, a transition has to be, after all, we are going to live on the land and gravity forces are going to work on us. So yes, the transition therapy also has to be done and then maintenance and fitness. So these are six phases on which I do my rehabilitation in aquatics. And as we see over here, uh, I, am, I have put ankle weights that are aqua shoes, which I'm wearing and uh, noodles. And I am doing the exercises in neutral position, in long sitting, in a flexion position, in the sideline. So all different axes and planes, as well as in a prone position, you know, standing and uh, pushing the noodle down. I'll show you some videos of the same. Or balancing, let's say, myself on the noodle. So when I have to balance, the core muscles, when I have to push it down, my core muscles have to work. And core, not only my abdominal, my leg muscles also have to work onto it. All doing cycling. I had uh, given an article uh, in the Physio Times in the year 2017, where I had explained about how sports injuries rehabilitation can be done in an aquatic approach. And I'm glad now various other fields and I see when I started back in 2012 and now 2010 and 2012, and now I see there are a lot many clinics which are having pool and want to invest in the pool to make sure that the rehab is done well. You don't require always to have an indoor pool. It can also be done in an outdoor pool. Aqua gym can be done inside and so I have a resistance band, a TRX, a pole in my pool and kettlebell were being used. And to do this exercises inside was really easy. You see some images again in the outdoor pool. It is not going to put any load on your shoulder and to lift it is really very easy. Now, when I say over here, the weights, the actual weights, now, if you see in my hands, there are one kg, one kg, they are uh, PVC dumbbells. They can be used as well as inside in the water and outside on the land also. I have got them from Decathlon. Now, when I'm using them inside in the water, it's very much easy. I don't feel one kg as a weight. Try that out someday. I mean, definitely when the lockdown opens, you all are waiting for it. You can try that out and you really feel it very easy to do the exercises inside with one kg. Likewise, if you take five kgs, uh, it is going to be again easy. You're not going to feel that much tension. So density is over here changing. Now the ones which are actually, now the ones which are actually light become heavy and the ones which are heavy actually become light inside in the water. There are different equipments which are again going to add only resistance to your body and make sure the strengthening is done well. Your therapist, so some of them must be thinking, well, we are seeing a lot of off leg exercises, I mean off floor exercises. And here the legs are balancing on the floor, but there are kickboards which are placed underneath their feet and they are balancing with your eyes closed and focusing. I understand when we say physiotherapy, we don't have to see exercises. We can understand from exercises, but we can make our own exercises. And that's what physiotherapy is all about. We can make our own exercises by understanding the biomechanics, which is the heart of a physiotherapist. And the joint reaction forces, the crown reaction forces, understanding a very nicely their anatomy and how much strain we can merge everything of this with X's and planes and see what muscles are we working across. So unless and until you don't do exercise on yourself, it's difficult to make sure that your patient is going to do the right one. So always I would guide and ask that you experience it on yourself and it will be easy to guide with the other people and you might come with new exercises. So where does aquatic therapy occur? It, the question is, it can occur in an outdoor pool as well as it can occur in an indoor pool. There's an image over here, which I'm doing a water shiatsu. I'm doing cupping therapy. I've asked a person to sit in a comfortable position so I can do the cupping 
for her metatarsals. And no need to worry. There are some pools and there are different techniques your aquatic therapist can guide you with. If you don't have to walk down the ladders inside in the pool, there are lifts, there are chairs, there are movable equipments where they can get you inside or there are different techniques where you sit at the edge of the pool and they can take you inside. In. So you need to learn all these techniques and but there are even equipments for them. A group session which was been done in an outdoor pool and they uh, don't want to lose their balance. Some are swimmers, some are non-swimmers, some have water phobia. So they are holding their hands and doing their stretches across. In a deep water, you can suspend yourself with the help of a dumbbell, as well as doing the strengthening with the gladiators as well, and a water belt. The motor generated treadmills are there, which where you can change the speed, or there are the rollers, even where you can practice your incline. So I would rather say, is there a special equipment to use in an aquatic therapy? No, you don't require specific tool initially because water itself is giving you the resistance and you can do a very well and let them, let your patients, let your clients, everyone should feel how water is helping them. How are they feeling? Are they comfortable with it or no? Then only introduce any equipment. So you can definitely take various exercises with it. And then once they are comfortable, you can put down with the other equipments. See, everywhere we see the water is still the chest level. They are not going to drown inside. It is very much comfortable to do the exercises. Even when they are close their eyes, they can stretch to the limit and they don't have to worry that they are going to fall inside. Different equipments here we see. The spinner is not there, but only the pedals are there. Here the spinning system is there where the gear systems are also there. Now, this additional fins are going to increase just the resistance. Likewise, I said, the more the area, it's going to give more the resistance. So like I, I made with a noodle and a connector in the other way. There are cervical collars, there are ankle weights, which can be used, fins, aqua dumbbells, many more. And you don't have, I mean, you don't have to purchase unless and until you want to do the exercises on your own. And there are various equipments there are different rotation devices where your therapist can guide you across. Aquamat can be used for with the kids interaction or when they are not comfortable always and he is just six months. And even that can be used for a therapy where you want him to balance or you can put the noodles underneath and he can balance as well. So aquatic treadmill. Now this waterfall, is it for you? It, it looks really good. But yes, they can. They are enjoying a jacuzzi behind over here and a waterfall which is there ahead in front. But this can also be used as a water massages, as a jet massages, and to massage your back. And most basically, I have put this across to even make sure that the drainage of a lymphatic fluid can happen. So I can I take my cancer patients as well as over here, and if, when they have gone undergone a mastectomy, this is really helpful in the technique. Let's see some videos so that you can really understand how are we going across. I'm going to click each one and we see that up. So this is a reverse treadmill that is going and treadmill can be done forward as well as in a reverse position. We can change the speed of the treadmill also. Um, he is doing his ankle mobility. We are going to do again a forward treadmill. So he is resting it up over there. I'm asking him to leave his hands and then start running. And we are seeing as a forward treadmill. He's doing. We'll see the other link.
Now over here, likewise I said, I am suspending a person and it's very easy for me to do the exercise I'm holding and do water shiatsu with him because I'm using as a property. I have off the lights and I have on the different lights inside in the pool. His eyes are closed. Here, the person is doing the side weights. I have asked the person, she is having ankle weights. Uh, she has undergone an arthroscopy. So, knee ACL reconstruction surgery. You can find, as well as all these videos, on my YouTube channel, Prachisha Arora, and you can find them up over there to see how the rehabilitation had taken place. So, treadmills, yes, it, it, they are useful. And uh, you can also make the same exercises. You can do it inside in the water, even if you don't have a treadmill. Now she is running quite fast. If we see over here. Since you have already seen the treadmill, I'll go to the other video. So I'll play from the beginning again. So I am taking my legs up, suspending, not touching the floor, taking my legs back, and again, contracting my abdominal muscles and stability with the hands and taking them. So I'm working on my back extensors, my glutes, my abdominals. At the same time, I'm not feeling tired at all. This. Yeah, this is where I'm doing aquatic cupping therapy inside. You can choose either you want, if you want to go inside and stay inside for a long period of time. That's the reason I was using snorkel to see as well. Well, I'm doing aquatic cupping there inside. She is an osteoarthritis patient as well as having the medial joint. So even a lot of mobilization techniques can be done inside in the water. And always make sure you document each and everything, what you do and how are the results. The log entries are really important to even guide you as well as how to guide across with the different techniques. I'm asking her now, bend and check, do you feel any pain with it? She's wearing an aqua socks. And it was absolutely good while she was doing that. And the range was also more when she did that. Some videos I have put it on the Insta. And as we see over here, he is post rehab fracture. So if we see the site over here and I'm asking him to squat and run. Uh, now she is uh, and uh, she is 72 years old and she is using the aqua fans and she is doing an exercise with an aqua fan she is doing the strengthening exercise she is maintaining the squat position till she completes the 30 repetitions of it i have changed the light system inside Sometimes I use white lights, sometimes I use yellow lights, depends. So concave were facing and they were giving her resistance. So I was working on her pectorals and she, as she was gripping the fans, it was also working on her hand intrinsics, interosteal. 
now he is i guess paralympics yeah paralympic sports paraplegia and we were training again with him i was asking him to maintain a squat position and do it one side is convex facing him one side if you see is concave facing him as well as the weights so these are 1 kg weights aquatic weights these are again 1 kg weights unfortunately i have lost some videos but it was good that they were there on the social side so i could connect it with the link and i can show it to you on an aqua mat trying to balance and do pilates so holding the position as well as this is imbalance i am understanding the timing just we will end up in next 10 minutes and let's see this dumbbell and the she is doing the exercise over here ankle weights maintaining the position as well as working on her arms and we have one last video okay so she is fourth day four stop which was done she is walking with her eyes closed day four aquatic session tk her surgeon had allowed me that yes uh, the dressing is a waterproof and you can take her inside in the water to do an aquatic therapy So yes, this was some of the videos, and before we ended up, just there are few more videos which I have kept over over here. You can I'll put them up so that you can see them well. Good. So he is doing the exercise inside. As we see, how his dominoes are working he is not having any stress so the kids who want to definitely go to gym to do their exercises but the body weight training some parents don't allow them the exercises can be done very well inside in the water and we can get a good strengthening and we can also make sure that we can help in preventing obesity now the cycling the way he is doing even you can try with a noodle and his feet are not touching down he is cycling continuously by holding one meter ahead and sitting on one meter there he is 10 years old and it was good he allowed me he said okay you can show my videos that's all fine so he is now working over here and as we see see the contractions happening he is also pulling so he is working with his shoulder flexors as well fans and the noodles so i was using the concave i was moving ahead doing cycling as well as doing the fans pulling and dragging it towards me we have a marathon or video here he is also training himself and we are running at a speed of 12 km per hour inside so the treadmill also tells and how much calories a person is burning we can see his front view whether his angles whether his gait pattern going right or wrong his foot alignment and at the side how is he doing i am also thankful to a very well known indian marathoner long distance runner 
we have many more things. He's a Rajvadagma, sir. Even when you suspend and you have to balance on. So the noodle, he's balancing, he's doing, he wants to do it fast. But as we, I explained to you in one of the property ahead that the slow movements can take place, but he, we, his muscles were working there and he's actually enjoying very much to do that exercise. We have aquathons, which are every year and aqua awareness is spreading through them. There are a huge amount of people who participate in an aquathon, which goes for three hours. So you can even do the exercises without having equipment because water is giving you a resistance. And then for them, there were aqua dance, which was there, some games were there and medals to give them. So it's a feedback for them. Yes, and when everything is done, a person wants to relax inside and how can water not be the very good medium to feel relaxation when even when you walk in and just water touches your feet, you feel so relaxed. You can either suspend or you can take the wall support. So they are doing the relaxation either with noodles or with dumbbells. Different games can be played with the kids. But after all of this, is it normal to feel this post aquatic therapy that what your patient or your client messages or calls you and asks you, I'm feeling really thirsty today. Yes, you will be feeling thirsty because you have lost a lot of electrons from your body. And uh, when you lost a lot of electrons from your body because you have worked out a lot, which you have not realized being water around you and you have not got any pain or strain. And even if you sweat, you are in the neck level water it's the water surrounded you, you don't feel thirsty, but later when you come out, yes, you do feel thirsty. So make sure that you hydrate yourself very well when you're inside in the water to avoid any headaches or any pains or any soreness that may come. And yes, when you feel hungry, make sure your diet is really well and not just when you get out of the pool to see uh, samosas or a junk food across or have vada paus. So it's entirely it's going to mess up with your system. We do feel very good flexibility and the same day we get a good sleep. Some people feel really fresh after that. And they, so mostly the sessions are been taken in the daytime and are been avoided at the night time. They ask whether I am, am I safe? Trust your aquatic therapist, trust your physiotherapist, trust your doctor, they have guided very well across and they know the norms. They have checked across your aquatic therapist have taken care of the hygiene of the pool and have spoke to the manager across to see whether your restrooms are fine, the pool floors are fine, there are rubbery mats everywhere, there are anti-slippery mats everywhere. Your therapist is CPCR certified, cardio, pulmonary, cerebral, resuscitation. CPR was updated to CPCR because it was definitely brain plays a major role, your cerebrum plays a major role. And if a person is dead with his brains, is actually a dead body there. So consent of your clients and your numbers, everything has been taken care, log entry details, each day the evaluation is done, instructions are given. And after taking your assessment, they know that what is the comfort zone and they are maintaining the confidentiality and the safety of themselves, patient, as well as the pool. So always when there are things, you need to ask your aquatic therapist. But what you need to remember is, you need to remember that you hydrate well. You need to remember that you are using a per perfect outfit to go inside in the pool. And it's not going to come as a restriction or a barrier to do any particular exercises. Follow the instructions given to you. Follow the instructions given to you by your therapist. And the instructions which are mentioned on each and every pool or an hydrotherapy tank outside. Do not, do not, do not, do not use oil or do not put oil onto you when you enter in the pool because oil is just going to float over there. If you really want to use something, I'm 
trying aqua lotion and in my workshops and in my therapies also i tell that you can try an aqua lotion if you want to really put in on you and mulin ear drops are something which are advisable before you enter in the pool 20 minutes before so that you won't have any ear infections and the water is not going to clog if you dry after coming out from the pool with the swim ear drops make sure you convey your messages your discomfort or your queries to your aquatic therapist and they'll make sure that you are comfortable shower not only before getting inside in the pool but even when you come out of the pool and drying yourself is really important to avoid any kind of an infection happening the most important thing is enjoy your aquatic therapy and it's really fun in we have events like aquathon which come in november every year and we have watsu week which happens um uh, in the month of march to spread the awareness and everyone participates for it we are spreading the awareness together so i'm going to conclude my slide over here and i would say rather it's not only swimming in the pool it's much more than we know about it not only even doing aqua aerobics or aquatic fitness different therapies and what i have found useful with me is watsu and hence i wanted to share this with everyone so that each of us can be aware even i can use watsu therapy in my techniques in my aquatic therapy as well we actually fuse right we don't only use one particular mobilization with our patient let's say i'm only going for a mckenzie mobilization i wouldn't say that what is convenient for my patient how i'm getting to get his goals achieved faster how my patient can be discharged sooner i'm going to work on that so i'll be approaching a holistic approach and trust me when i am giving a session and when i'm receiving a session uh the session i'm talking about is what is shia to what to is an ultimate or different experience and i wanted everyone to be aware about that so it's really a privilege to have uh, giani sir with us uh his name his full name is giani de stefani as we see here and he is a founder of watsu india tm institute of for aquatic body work in india and his aim is to spread this beautiful body work across in india and all over the world he has been traveling worldwide since more than 30 years as an organizer baba facilitator he is facilitating watsu basic different watsu courses meditation yoga watsu for babies pregnant women and he is discovering the other techniques as well it's a uh, privilege to have him over here for his discussion and where, and then we see uh, his credentials he's a swiss swimming aquatic fitness instructor he's a sports teacher instructor he has done his studies in physiotherapy he's a swim teacher for babies he has a trainer this all our certifications which are done by him oceanic body work aqua he is trainer for watsu basic different levels of the watsu some of them had a misconceptions about watsu that it goes for so many years and everything i'm glad that and i am definitely sure that shit sir is going to share his knowledge with you on the same trainer anatomy certified aquatic body worker he is a yoga trainer and he is even into tantra and ayurvedic mama massage he is doing his swiss he did his swiss olympic certification for adult pedagogical teacher as a and as an aquatic sports professor so over to you sir and i'll pause my share then i'll uh, discuss across when when are his courses coming across and i'll then yeah thank you for welcoming me uh, i'm happy to to join this uh, webinar meeting first time for me i'm a little bit uh, older than all of you uh, i was starting in uh, in auroville 33 years ago teaching uh, aqua yoga and uh, water shatsu and uh, still uh, we are on uh, Uh, on the stage uh, next year we have a, a, a program that uh, you can then have a, a look on it uh, in any case i would uh, support what uh, dr pracci was saying uh, aquatic uh, therapy any kind of aquatic therapy uh, is a amazing tool that can improve uh, recover uh, up to three times uh, that means uh, if you have a good protocol 
uh, between uh, uh, water activity and land activity, you can really uh, uh, give a huge advantage to your passion. About Watsu, Watsu is the, the last uh, um, develop uh, uh, tool uh, that we have in the, in the aquatic therapy. Uh, it exists now since uh, more than uh, 40 years. And uh, yeah, uh, by Watsu we can say that uh, it's a perfect tool to uh, free the body in the water. Uh, it, it, give, uh, it can uh, bring you to a deep uh, relaxation and uh, to release all the tension in, uh, in the body. Um, what we have uh, to, to understand about uh, Watsu, that is a, a passive technique that uh, um, is working essentially on symptoms. It, it will not directly heal uh, causes, but it's uh, a tool that you can integrate in a protocol for every kind of rehabilitation in the uh, American um, Therapist uh, Association. Uh, Watsu is, uh, Aquatic Therapist Association, uh, Watsu is uh, one of the, the tools that they uh, learn in the school. And uh, I'm available for every kind of, uh, of question if you want to uh, ask. Yeah, Prachima. Uh, yes, sir. so we are seeing some questions over here. With, uh, with so, uh, so, Saurabhji will guide uh, all these things. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. So before, before we uh, uh, ask anyone about the questions and everything, I'll just uh, share this uh, screen again. Okay. Um, I'm going to share the screen to understand. So yes, sir, very well mentioned about Watsu and these are his upcoming courses, which are going to uh, happen in 2020 in India and 2021 in India, which you can note it down. And if you miss anything, you can also check on Quiet Healing Center our website and you will get to know his dates and every details about it. And um, questions, I guess, with this will definitely help you up that the details about the aquatic therapy further and how we go across and how to manage the pool and how much does it cost, how does, where does this take place and what to do for an aquatic therapist, everything will be answered and will be solved across in the further webinars, which we are going to have it. So, and even if we are not able to some, we'll, with the time limit, we will be discussing some of the questions definitely. But if we are, I'm not able to discuss the other questions, you can definitely connect me over here. And I'm thankful to my rehab academy that they allowed me to share my details so that you can ask me and approach me other questions when you have any. Thank you very much, everyone. And Yes, I will stop the share. Yeah. Uh, over, over. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, you'll be taking questions? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, the question what you had seen the first of all, like PCOD, right? Correct. I guess Janet has asked about it. And yeah. Yes. So uh, when she is asking about, uh, have I seen any PCOD? cases inside in an aquatic therapy or have helped across or no yes i have seen pcod cases and along with uh, i have my uh, research articles also about the same i have seen pcos and pcod both and with the 12 year old till the age of 32 year old and in them i have done 12 weeks of study where alternate days i was calling them and I was taking 45 minutes of the aquatic fitness exercises with them and have seen that even after completing their exercises now, let's say how old is she? Uh, one of was my friend herself and uh, she is now uh, 36 and she is like, it's been six years and this has not again occurred well. So along with medications, yes, the exercises both are going to benefit, but she was taking in homeopathic medicine. Hope I have about range of motion. Okay. Yeah. So will the improved range of motion remain after the session when we perform the same on land? 
yes it does uh, the range what you have improved it does remain the same but as i mentioned the transition has to be done so when you have achieved a good range inside in the water make sure that on land you take the next day the session and you also work on that range so that wise likewise the person is not going to have always the pain pain or while attending the range you are not only going to create an inflammation also try different mobilization techniques so that they don't actually have a pain and the ranges can be achieved and it can be maintained so give them a home exercise program as well thank you so much our uh, next question is about aquatic rehabilitation principles uh, some principles about aquatic rehabilitation okay so what what is the question about principle can you please explain okay i got it aquatic rehab principles we lost the connection and the net issues there are a lot of aquatic uh, rehab principles which you need to take care about and so the first principle is you need to understand the water properties really very well second principle is you need to understand what are the contraindications what are the indications third thing do your assessment thoroughly listen to the history very well because 50% of the case is solved when you listen to the history very well which will guide you to the diagnosis with related with an aquatic therapy you can select then accordingly whether you want to take a person for which particular technique since there are various number of the techniques and knowing the person's comfort zone whether he can he is a swimmer non swimmer he has a phobia he doesn't have a phobia can he enter in the pool on his own or cannot he enter in the pool on his own okay and now let's say as an example uh, of uh, osteoarthritis since many more cases are osteoarthritis and even doctors are now recommending go for an aquatic therapy in osteoarthritis so after an assessment evaluation i'm going to now take a patient inside in the water just i will ask the person to feel how the water is giving them the resistance then i might use an aquatic cupping technique with him or i might give an aquatic mobilization to him depending now i'll choose my phases i want to strengthen i want to condition so i am doing my aquatic principle on different phases six phases are there where i transition my patient as well and make sure that the patient is able to do them on land as well okay uh, somebody has asked choice about spastic hands like how do we do what do we do about spastic hand if it is role of aquatic therapy for spastic hands there are uh, like you can manage by they will be having completely going into a pattern now to break this particular pattern you need to know your pnf well whether you are going to use a d1 technique you are going to use a d2 technique but it's always better to take this particular person in a lukewarm pool or in a temperature regulated pool so that the spasticity doesn't increase and then you can suspend them with an aquatic noodle or with the floats around them and making sure that they reach out like even you can use a boba technique inside in the water but for this you need to really know when to do this spasticity we can go more details with the helvic therapy okay uh, how about uh, the lighting the kind of lighting part of the pool do we have any special color to be used like something like that okay so to related with the lighting it was on me i wanted to use white lights i wanted to use yellow light it was a stainless steel tank i wanted to paint a color onto it to just make it look good with blue color or with yellow color um okay. it's it depends on everyone you can also keep it plain how it is okay so there is a very uh, so just just a minute uh, yeah. like i believe in light therapy that was the reason because the light around you actually makes help to do that particular therapy also continue very well okay uh, like uh, can you uh, summarize some of the criteria that you choose the patient for aqua therapy i mean somebody has asked like in general okay. so criteria is like how do you indicate that yes we can do it okay so i first see with uh, i check out for the contraindications very first thing that the person is not having open wounds or which if even if a person is having open wounds are they having a surgical tape which is waterproof or no i discuss with their orthopedic surgeons that i feel i want to take this person in an aquatic therapy because it can have this many benefits to him and since we have a limited period of time this particular person can actually be able to go inside in the water do the exercises by themselves or even i can guide 
since a person is having even a swimming pool in his society let's say so it's better that i make him understand the techniques or to at least make sure that these exercises are done and those exercises he can take care in his pool over there other criteria what i look forward in this is that um, a person's strength how much is it available can i achieve it faster or no how much endurance is available what is his blood pressure how and what basis i am assessing is a person going to enjoy the water work or no can a person float easily or no or do i need an assistance or uh, other equipment to make him float very well are he is he on any medication pills like is he on sleeping pills or is is my taking inside in the water going to cause him more um, he can sleep in between of a therapy is that going to happen or no depending on various measurements and assessments i'll take a patient inside okay i would like to take any more question ma'am because uh, uh yeah. yeah we can actually they can all email yeah. up to me the uh, the questions for jiani sir related with what so they can go ahead with it related to jiani sir yes uh i think uh, no one has indicated for sir is there anybody you can raise your hand and ask directly for sir i think uh, there was no like but uh, there was uh, one question uh, about pediatric physiotherapist like what is the scope of ecotherapy we can go ahead with that a huge scope because as we see that um, so comparable to the earlier stages when like in 1911 when i said the spasticity and the cerebral palsy they had started we are in 2020 like in 21st century and what are we up to we uh, are doing now aquatic therapy awareness is spreading very well across the globe the thing is in pediatric physiotherapy aquatic therapy is going to play a major role there are under there are um, sorry waterproof diapers which are available there are other uh, things that you can take care with the different uh, chemicals that you can put inside in the water which are not going to harm the baby or not going to harm the pediatrics but a lot many places pediatric and neurophysio aquatic therapy are been taken place it's aquatic sports and aquatic musculoskeletal which people are not aware about but aquatic pediatric physiotherapy is already uh, which has been practiced quite on a youth scale comparable to aqua and sports and msk and hence my awareness for today was aquatic sports and aqua and msk okay uh, one question uh, came many a times i think about 10 people asked uh, what about hydrophobia if some has uh, hydrophobia like how do we go ahead so we may, go ahead i may answer uh, i i said there are a lot of uh, question about the uh, hydrophobia no uh, hydrophobia um, 99% uh, by every uh, uh, person can be um, uh, released uh, with uh, with a simple uh, easy protocol no but we of course we we need a therapist to know how to do and uh, uh, it's not so not, not so difficult but uh, in say in 2 weeks uh, you can overwhelm uh, the most of the hydrophobia um that the um, patient uh, may have uh, one one of the condition is that uh, the patient uh, has to work a little bit at home that is i have specific proto protocol for that and uh, don't one uh, one other question that uh, rise up is about uh, um, aquatic therapy after surgery uh, uh, then what is the alternative if it's possible to um, to go in the water the day after a surgery for example a shoulder surgery or a hip surgery no uh, to make an sample uh, then you will really really have an, a, a big advantage on the uh, on the rehabilitation uh, time and also on the quality of the rehabilitation because that will uh, uh, avoid uh, a lot of post surgery problem yeah and uh, at the end uh, about uh, spastic people and uh, all kind of also other disease uh, using watsu and uh, um, other uh, aquatic uh, therapy uh, it's uh, um, 
obvious that uh, can help to increase the recovery process. Only if you think a very simple thing, no? Uh, our body, our muscular uh, skeleton uh, system is built up to fight against gravity. So if we don't need to fight against gravity, all our energy can be diverted to something uh, uh, that in that moment is, the, is, is our goal. No? Uh, and this is the, the huge advantage that uh, uh, we can uh, have uh, by aquatic therapy comparing to uh, starting a therapy on land. Okay, uh, there is a question for uh, Sir only Watsu. Any Watsu video, this basic video or anything you can show, Sir, uh, if it is available, or you have any link that people can see any kind of Watsu basic videos? Yeah, a yeah, link uh, you go to watsu.in or to watsu.com, and then you will find uh, information and about classes uh, in, uh, in Auroville, Tamil Nadu. Uh, you will find uh, it uh, under uh, the quiet healing center uh, dot uh, org point uh, dot in uh, website okay kindly participants note it down these websites and uh, go that and i think uh, yeah uh, it is possible that few of your questions would have missed so somebody has i think manjula has asked about the skin condition so ma'am just two words on skin condition. How do we go ahead for the hydrotherapy? I mean, aqua for the pool. With the skin, with the skin condition, um, uh, even like I can also go with the uh, question. But yes, since sir is also there across, even he can go ahead with the skin condition. Would you like to sir go ahead with the skin conditions question? Because if, whether it's it's the hydrotherapy, it's a water shiatsu or whether it's an aqua fitness or any, any of the thing with the skin condition, if you have anything which is allergic, you can not definitely do it, but depends on what um, chemicals are present inside in the water. Are they using chlorine? Are they using bromine? Or it's an ozone pool? Or it, are they using alum? Or is it a herbal water filter system? So depending on those, uh, it can say. But yes, if you have anything infectious or a spreading, skin condition, then definitely you don't want to enter inside in the water and spread that skin condition to the other people. So yes, uh, definitely, sir, sir, was I correct with the skin condition? The question was about like a chlorinated water expose. I mean, in the pool, the kind of chlorinated water, how does, uh, like, how do you deal with that? Uh, like if somebody has a, you know, skin reactions out of chlorinated water, like. Okay, so first, when you take an assessment, you need to ask them whether are they having any chlorine allergy or no. If they don't have a chlorine allergy, then just, or they don't know, then ask for them to undergo an allergic test. Or if they cannot even go for an allergic test, then ask them to get inside in the water and you will see, are there any skin rashes there are happening on your body or no? Within few minutes, it will show up. And um, it even depends on what pH level that particular pool has maintained with the chlorine. And um, you will see some reactions, then definitely that particular person you are not going to advise to get inside. But you can always ask a person to check with his family physician whether he is a chlorine allergic or no, because his family physician will definitely know if he doesn't know it. What about uh, aqua jogging during some injury to keep up the fitness? Question from Petrina. Okay, aquatic jogging. Hi, <laughs> I can see you there. Hi, Petrina. So, aquatic jogging. Uh, during um, your ankle pain because depends again with if you are till the neck level you can definitely go for an aquatic jogging uh, because 10 percent only of your body weight is going to come on your ankle while you are doing it but even when you are doing an aquatic jogging you should not feel a pain if you feel a pain then that is an indicator that you are not supposed to do a jogging and even before you go for a jogging see some activities like walk do a brisk walk do with aquatic fins the exercises do marching or balance on a single leg and see do i chi and check it out whether are you having any pain or discomfort while doing that then only you progress for an aquatic jogging okay uh, thank you so much ma'am for uh, such a wonderful and being patient uh, like answering almost all questions sorry participants i have not been able to i could have missed your one or two question uh, of course, uh, ma'am has, uh, yeah, uh, 
like uh, how about uh, certification part like you want to give ma'am or kind of intimation that you have you know attended this particular webinar uh, like if you can announce them like yes i can definitely announce thank you for your participation <laughs> okay and and uh, we'll have a small uh, like we have a small poll the thing will come just now uh, all participants are requested to just do the polling for about uh, 30 seconds and uh, this is for our internal survey because we keep working on the ground to take the poll and then so that we can come up with the best instructor like uh, prachi ma'am or jiani sir it's wonderful time that uh, you have joined us yeah poll is there uh, yeah time has started you can just give your uh, feedback there are few questions only two or i think four questions yeah please keep voting people are thinking about it so it's going more than 30 seconds <laughs> another 30 seconds i think uh, most of them they have voted another 10 seconds i believe fine shall i end the things yeah it's almost another 5 second i believe so and participants uh, keep in touch with us so that you can come to know like because there was a question i think it was for us and uh, you also ma'am like when we can have a proper class of aqua therapy after the lockdown of course after the lockdown uh, be in the touch and then you will be uh, intimated through your mail that when we have a proper class then you can book your seat and we can have usually it is a two days class as much as i know that complete your most of the modules Yes, I think voting uh, is good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's done now. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, okay. participant, for giving your wonderful vote. It was wonderful to see that majority of people been interacted over video also and given us the excellent mark. Thank you so much. And this whole excellent goes to uh, Dr. Prachi as well as Jiani sir, who has given us precious time today and. Uh, uh made our time better like what the weekend can go better than this that to in the lockdown <laughs> thank you so much all the participants yes sir uh, suman sir you want to tell something yeah yeah thanks thanks a lot ma'am thank you thank you sir uh, thanks jiani sir thanks a lot thank you uh, uh, can there 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 are two questions that i see over here i okay. would was they are for jiani sir and it's good if he uh, answers them one question is from gauri karol and she is asking that can vatsu be done for a spastic kid yeah absolutely uh, spasticity is one of the uh, situation that you can uh, treat uh, very well uh, in uh, in warm water uh, with uh, spastic uh, uh, people uh thank you for sir answering that uh very much and uh, you have there are many questions where like i see over here who are asking cost of vatsu certification and how do we do it so <laughs> you can definitely connect yeah. with sir and the website that he has mentioned across and yes sir it's uh, for uh, vatsu uh, practitioner certification it uh, needs around uh, 200 hours uh, of uh, uh classes uh, and you have to calculate around uh, 500 rupee per hour it's a step by step uh, um uh, learning path uh, it's not that uh, you can in uh, in 50 hour be a a watso therapist it's a little bit more complex than uh, uh, maybe we can see on a, on a video no? and the dr prachi I, i guess she can uh, uh, 
confirm that. Yes, definitely. You, uh, it's not that you have learned a level and just you get a certification. You learn it, you practice it because each individual is different. And when they come to you, some are really very tight. Some are quite flexible and wobbly across when you are holding them inside in the water. So you require a lot of practice. And each year or with each level, you update yourself. And then, yes, you can go. I'm also into the course across. I completed my Watsu 2. Now I'll be preparing myself for Watsu 3. Yes, we can conclude, Dr. Saro. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So, uh, Divakar? Yeah, yeah. yeah fine, 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 fine. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you to all to you for uh, your and uh, Gianni, sir. Then, with your permission, we can uh, we can conclude today's event. And soon, well, I mean, let us hope that soon we will catch up uh, each other in a bigger event, uh, that to the physical event, and can learn everything uh, in very practical. Thank you so much. Welcome.